JJTHC.com is the place to go for a custom-built website, custom graphic design work, and for promotional videos for your business or personal use. Check the link in the description below to get pricing. How's everybody doing? This is Joey from JJTHC, and today I will be reviewing the Movie Maker set from Grip Gear. Special thanks to Grip Gear for sponsoring this video. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. This device can be used in a variety of ways. You can use it on a slider or you can independently use it as a panorama time lapse device. I'm going to go over the slider first and then I will pick up back with the panorama time lapse part of the review. The slider is about 2 feet long and is made out of aluminum except for the blue track. That is plastic. Also, the feet are plastic. To fit the motor on the rail, simply unfasten the screw in the middle and pull the slider apart and put the motor on the rail. It slides on nicely onto the track. It has 8 speeds which you can set either directly on the device or you can use the very convenient remote that it comes with. Here is 8, the fastest speed. And here's 1, the lowest speed. They suggest that the device that is on the slider is a smartphone or a small point and shoot. This kit even comes with a smartphone mount which you can mount to the included thread mount. Here's some test footage of the iPhone 7 Plus shooting in 4K with optical image stabilization. Next, here's the iPhone 7 Plus shooting in 4K without optical image stabilization on the telephoto lens. You can really always smooth out all the bumps in post if you really want to. Even though it's not suggested, I even use my Panasonic Lumix G7 on this slider and it works perfectly fine. Again, there are bumps, but it's not that bad. On the bottom of the slider, there are three mounting holes where you can connect a tripod to either thread, which will enable you to be able to move the slider around, play with different heights, and just get better shots overall. You'll need a minimum of two tripods if you want to do this, because the slider bends with just a center tripod. You can also manually slide the motor across by pulling out the blue screw. Once that's pulled out, the motor will freely move across the tracks. So far this product has been great for what I'm doing with, with video work, and hopefully this works for a long time. I don't have any other complaints other than it can't handle that much weight. On to the second half of the review. You can also use this device in a panoramic time-lapse mode where you can set your device on top and record a time-lapse while it pans. This is actually really cool that this is two in one and you can do both of these things with only one small device. All you have to do is attach the thread adapter to the side, screw in the phone mount, and put your phone inside the mount and start the time-lapse. Here's a time-lapse that I've captured in the panoramic style. I even now use this rigged setup with my Lumix G7 which I do not put the seal of approval on and probably shouldn't be doing it myself. I put my quick release plate on the motor and connected my camera to the motor and put it all on a tripod. I then get smooth pans this way but I really like doing it and hate doing it at the same time. And that's exactly why I just bought a Manfrotto 502 video head which should allow me to not use this rigged setup and probably won't break my camera now because it'll be safely on top of an actual video head. I also don't have any complaints with this part of the motor. I totally recommend this device as a budget motorized slider slash panoramic video tool. If you enjoyed the video, you can go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, and share the video. Special thanks to Grip Gear again for sponsoring this video. You can go ahead and check out all my social links down below in the description or on the screen right here. It's been Joey from JJTC, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya.